spoon. Pop up <laughs> Sunday gravy in uh, Pop Up's lasagna. Incredible. Oh, man. Remind you of New Jersey? It tastes like my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ingalls Country, where making meals and making memories is the family business. Where those faded recipe cards and dog eared cookbooks contain the pages of our much loved history. Here, we pass on more than pies, cakes, and casseroles. We share a little bit of heart and soul from one generation to the next. This is the Ingalls Table Family Traditions. Hi, I'm Sarah Elizabeth. Today we're meeting two brothers who may feel like family even if you've never met them. If they sound familiar, it's probably because you've heard them before. They're proud Italian Americans, die hard Eagles fans, and two of the best radio personalities in the Carolinas. It's Josh and Aaron Michael, and the story of Pop Pop Sunday Gravy. So, guys, tell me what growing up was like for Josh and Aaron Michael. Well, it started uh, for us in New Jersey, South Jersey, Philadelphia area. We moved down here when uh, we were just kids. I was eight, and you were. I turned three when we moved here. So, yeah. yep. so. and there's two things that we love. Eagles football. Yeah, and, and Pop Pop's gravy. Yep. All right, <laughs> awesome. So who is Pop Pop? Uh, it's uh, our grandfather, our dad's dad, John Denisenzi. Our real last name is Denisenzi. Um, his, his name was John. Uh, he was in the Army, and then he was an artist. Uh, so a lot what people do with Photoshop today, he did by hand. They, like He used to draw us birthday cards instead of buying birthday cards, which I always thought was really cool. Yeah, yeah. and he was also a, a, a jokester. Yeah. So one of the, <laughs> always, always, never serious, always, always funny. Okay, so tell us about this recipe and uh, where it came from. All right, so this is uh, the Americanized version of, uh, um, of Sunday gravy or, or, or pasta sauce. And obviously it gets the name because uh, on Sundays you go to church and then you put the pasta sauce on and let it simmer while the whole family's hanging out. My grandfather cooked it the same way every single time. Yep. Uh, he never had a written out recipe. Uh, Pop up. Uh, um, made this sauce, and uh, when he passed away, I decided we need to keep this tradition alive. Absolutely. And yeah, so I got the recipe from uh, from his sister uh, Aunt Mary. Uh, I've never cooked it with Pop Pop uh, because Pop Pop didn't like people in his kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so um, he was the cook, and he uh, he loved doing it. He always had the TV on, so the football game was going game. for all of us. But uh, snacks on the table for you. Yeah, snacks on the table, but uh, but stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> So do you want to tell me a little bit about what you have here, your ingredients? It looks like you've got some um, onions and peppers. Did you buy those pre-diced at Ingalls? Yeah, pre-diced. I'm, I'm a lazy person. <laughs> and, uh, and Ingalls is right there and ready and willing to help. So we always get the pre-diced. It's, uh, it, it's really simple. Uh, in here, I've got the mushrooms. I've got onions. I've got peppers. Uh, all uh, simmering up in some olive oil and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Ooh. Uh, that balsamic vinegar, uh, that laurelin, it is sodium free. And I, so I love to use it to add some taste, but not a whole lot of salt. Sure. Uh, we've also got some 80-20 beef mixed with the uh, shredded uh, Italian sausage, all found right in the Ingalls meat section. So Delicious. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna throw some of that in there. <laughs> uh, so as this is browning up, uh, we're just we're going to, to then build it. Uh, the big thing with Pop-Up Sunday gravy, uh, there's not a whole lot to cook to, it's more of a build. Then it's all really about the simmer, to be honest with you. So <laughs> as this browns up, we're going to uh, uh, add a couple um, the big cans of the crushed tomatoes. Okay, and Aaron, you have two young children, so yep. um, how do you think yeah, your pop pop would feel about you passing on the tradition of his Sunday uh, gravy? I think it'd be ecstatic about it. To me, it was uh, we had a family gathering recently, and Josh made this for all of us. And to see my kids sitting down and just diving into this plate of spaghetti, I mean, I've got twin babies, and they've got spaghetti all over their face, and I'm like, everyone's loving this recipe, and I can just imagine pop pop just cooking it for everybody, oh, and yeah. kids running around like this is how he must have felt, you know, when we were little. So it's pretty cool to see it all happen together. The original recipe that I got from Aunt Mary, um, it said it never said how much wine. It just said wine, and I asked, and I asked around, and uh, one of the answers I got was, "Well, just feel how Pop Up felt that day." <laughs> there we go. So, there we go. We love that. So we're gonna throw a little bit of wine in there, yeah. and, and and as that wine cooks into it too, man, the cooked wine smell that is what my grandfather smells like to me. I mean, yep. isn't that what you uh, associate his smell and walk his, in the yep. in the house and that's the first thing that hits you? You're like, oh, we are at Pop Pop's. Yeah, most definitely. About. I'm gonna throw two bay leaves in here. Okay. And these actually come uh, back into play. Little family tradition that my grandfather would put some cash in the middle of the table. Uh -huh. And whoever <laughs> had the bay leaf in the bowl would take half the cash. 
Oh, yeah. So wow. Yep. And, and oddly enough, I guess we're just lucky. Aaron and I used to always, always get, get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So like, I'm gonna throw a little bit of uh, shredded parm in there too. Uh, we're gonna throw some parsley in there, and obviously garlic. I see these videos on Facebook that say that say one clove of garlic. There's no such thing. <laughs> Two, three cloves of garlic's in there, and we're, we're, we're gonna brown that all up. I can see why this is one of your favorite meals here. Oh my gosh! It's just a, it's just a good family meal. It's not hard to make. I'm not a chef by any means, but it's uh, it's hearty. And oh, it just, it just tastes so good. Okay, gentlemen, mm. we've got decades of goodness <laughs> smelling up the kitchen. So. You, you, it simmers that whole time. You, you're ready yeah. to eat. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> Smells incredible. Let's see how you did. Pop up Sunday gravy in uh, Pop Up's lasagna. Incredible. Oh, Remind you of New Jersey? It tastes like my childhood. <laughs> If you want to try Pop Pop Sunday gravy, we've got the recipe right here on IngallsTable.com.